how do you think the day went so far? Well, let's let's recap today's events. We've had a couple of meltdowns. Um, basically, we've been informed that we probably spend too much time on social media <laughs> creating content for people. So we're going to spend most of the day working or better part of this morning doing some stuff. So behind us here, this is our kids' commercial steer pen for their 4-H project. And what the commercial steer program is, is it teaches kids about real-world feeding of, of steers and heifers in, the, in a commercial environment. Meaning these cattle that we're going to put in here, we're not going to halter break them, we're not going to clip them, we're not going to do any of that kind of stuff. They're going to go on this pen and they're going to just get fed as much as they'll eat, and grow, so they'll grow as fast and big as they can. Um, then Clancy, he's the only one participating this year. Kylie's graduated and gone, so um, Clancy will have to take a test on them, do do calculations such as average daily gain, cost of gain, um, feed conversions, profit and loss, that kind of stuff. He'll do an interview where the judge asks him about his specific cattle, and he'll turn in a record book that has all the breakdown and numbers of his stuff. So. But we're going to do things a little different. The way, way we've always done it in the past is the kids will take their feed buckets with corn and stuff in it, bring it over here, dump it over this fence into the feeder, but that's going to be, that's just not real efficient and it's, it's going to be harder for plants because to get a, you know, a, a 30 pound bucket of corn over his head and dump it in there without spilling it and making a mess. So we're going to tear down our pen today. We're going to add on to the barn in the next couple of weeks and cover this area out another 24 feet. And then we're going to use this panel right here. I'll grab that over there. So our friends down at Metro Gate hooked us up with this feeder panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up kind of somewhere like this. Clint, bring your end around a little about right there. It'll be back just a little bit, just enough room that we can put a feeder in front of it, which we've got a feeder over here. We'll show you when we get everything cleaned up. But So the steers will be able to walk up from this side of the pen, stick their head through here. There will be a feed bunk there, and they can eat all they want there. And then Clance will only have to dump it in a feed bucket that's about a little above his knee, so it'll make it a lot easier on him. Maybe we won't waste as much corn and spill as much uh, feed. So that's what we're going to do today. Hope you all enjoy. All right, so let's get let's get all this stuff set inside. Uh, we can just clean it up. Right here. for mom. You're getting oil everywhere. It's all out with the grasshopper. So, we're just a hair above the ad line. Better put a little in there. What are you putting in there? Huh? What are you even putting in there? Hydraulic fluid. So the tractor's hydraulics will work. Let's see if I can do this without. Don't spill it, Cody. Make it a mess. There. 
Look and see if you're actually smelling your own eyes. Good job. Perfecto. Now let's check the oil and we'll be ready to go. Oh, that looks like there's going to be a lot of oil in there, Cody. It's full. No oil to add to this baby. Never do this. What'd you say never to do? Never.
How do you think the day went so far? Well, let's let's recap today's events. We've had a couple of meltdowns. Um, basically, we've been informed that we probably spend too much time on social media <laughs> creating content for people. Yeah, which I just that's, said to see us 
Yes, back over there, out of the way by those pipes. Um, which is probably true, but we're fixing to be empty nesters in five years, so we have to start working on that. And they're both gonna wanna swim in a swimming pool that we might eventually never make. And, um, but other than that, it went good. I mean, nobody got hurt, seriously. We got, all, we got it all. all tore down. Got it all tore down and we're gonna get it shredded. I'm gonna hook the shredder up. I'm gonna shred this down. I'm gonna shred some stuff over there that looks pitiful. And then we'll be ready to add on to the barn, get the steer pen set up. And we'll be ready to go work on my goat cart so I can make a motorized power wheel. Yeah. Clancy built it three or four years ago for our county fair. And it's been sitting for, I don't know, maybe a year or something. And uh, it's not wanting to run right. So we got we pulled the bowl off the carburetor and he cleaned it out. One of the fuel lines was cracked, so we're gonna take a look at it. Um, let's pull this spark plug out while we got it. All the stuff you pulled off back on. Well, we need to put that that these gas lines on first. Okay, we'll get on get one out. Let's see. Start. So start up. We probably should have. 
Where's that fluid at? Give it a little squirt down in the hole there and let's see what happens. See if maybe you get it running, it'll get our stuff loose. these steers ready to go under our feedlot pen is teaching them how to eat out of a feed trough and set off the ground so we're gonna put this feed trough out here this is a metro gate feed trough um, we just got these so we're gonna start trying them out see how we like them but this will more than likely be the trough that goes that they're gonna eat out of when they're in the feedlot pen so I'm gonna put some cubes in here for them and teach them to start eating out of a bunk <laughs> 